Yo, what is good guys? Welcome back to another Super Mario Eclipse Let's Play. I'm Trevor Neff. And uh, in the last episode, I freaked out because I found out that I could actually make the game 60 frames per second while playing 16 by 9. So, that's fun. Also, we, uh, we got Bianco Hills unlocked, so we're gonna be doing that starting out. Look, Shadow Mario. How could they still not tell that Shadow Mario was blue and Mario's? I don't know. I still have that colorblind theory, but that's just me. So, I wonder what light changes have been made to Bianco Hills. I'm excited. I love the 60 frames feature. It makes it, it, makes it look so fresh and nice. I'm, I'm really happy about that. So, it seems like this is just the regular base game so far. Get out! Get out! Oh, dude, that's not nice. But also, we, we did chase Shadow Mario, we did do the training- The training room? I was watching a Tekken 2 Games video on that, and it, it made me kind of think, like... Was that whole thing like a dream? Like, what? Because that area, I, I know I know it was a, tuto a tutorial room. But it kind of does make you wonder, like, what was that? Like, what that room was. I'm kind of curious myself about that now. And there's Petey Piranha. Shine number two. Also, I'm not sure if I covered this in the last video or not. Oh! We keep playing. That's interesting. I kind of like that, though. So does anything change after you've like unlocked certain shines for this? Because like the game here, normally the bridge wouldn't be fixed, right? Until until you beat Petey. <clears throat> so uh, interesting. And this game has an auto feature, so I don't have to save for every time I get a shine sprite or a blue coin. Um, the goal is to kind of get as far as I can without 100%ing it, because I'm not good at finding all blue coins. But uh, in the in the last video, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but there is a shine and a uh, blue coin indicator that tells you how many coins of shines are in each level, including Delphia Plaza. So I'm excited for that. It's kind of good because I don't know where every blue coin is, but. In the original game, I know where all the shines are. <clears throat> if that says anything. I like to call myself a pro sunshine player to an extent. Yes. No, don't miss it. Don't miss it. I like that I try to call myself a pro shine player, but every time I do, I always somehow screw myself over. Look at that Pianto on the bottom left. It's just like frozen. <laughs> Render distance. Hello, Petey. Bro, you don't gotta scream. There might be people that, that work their shift and they're sleeping right now. You don't need to scream. Oh, look what you did. Alright, let's fight. I'm ready. Open your mouth. This is one of the easiest boss fights, in my opinion. You don't have to do anything. Besides put water in his mouth. And just make sure he doesn't vomit everywhere. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? You can't escape. You can't escape. Now this works. Also, I find it funny that every Nintendo game that you play, but for a boss fight, they always, like, have them do this exact same moveset. It's like, one of those things, it's like, uh, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me, fool me three times. I don't know. Oh, what? Okay, well, I guess that'd be the fool me twice, fool me once part. What? I'm shooting his mouth! What? Bruh. What the heck is happening? I'm shooting water in his mouth. 
Oh my god, there's absolutely no way that he's dominating me. Okay. Oh my god, he's so much faster with that. What? God. I never had so much struggles with Petey before. I also like the little belly button that pops out. <laughs> This is funny. Another shine. Ah, right, let's go get it. Nice. Oh, so I guess in situations where you can't escape, that's when they pull you out. Oh, they don't even take you out of the level. <clears throat> that's actually cool to know. So in the last episode, I had the game setting apparently set to darkness or eclipse, which literally made the game so dim, which is hard for you guys to see. Theoretically, that is a cool feature, but I feel like, oh, you slide down so fast. That's so cool, though. Um, I did have it to where it was like that, but that is a cool feature, but I do not really believe that it's good for videos. It kind of makes it hard for people to see, and you have to like turn your brightness all the way up just to see. Wait, the red coins are here too? Ah, so the game's not going to make you get the stuff in chronological, chronological order? So then that would mean the, the hillside cave secret part is... Wait, huh? Wait, where does this go? What? Where does this take you to? What the heck is this? That takes you to Rico Harbor. What is- Oh my god, that's so cool! So this is the map. So this would take us to Rico Harbor. What? Hey, you're that guy on the wanted poster. Get lost. What? Okay. I guess I'm going to Rico Harbor. <laughs> What just happened? Okay. Sure. Oh. Okay, well that makes sense because I just came from there, but what the heck? <clears throat> the goop is coming out of those crates over there. I'm not sure I've ever seen anything as gross as that. Oh my god. Mana bloop. All right. Time to show the blooper who's boss. We must find a way to fight. I did. Hey, it wasn't much of a challenge. I really need to stop hyping myself up here. Ah! I really need to stop hyping myself up whenever I play Mario Sunshine. I'm not that good at it as I try to make myself to be. I'm really not that good at it. <laughs> I know I mentioned this. I know I mentioned before. Watch the versus frontier watch how i play sunshine and how i was just so good at dominating and connect four but that's that, that that i can only show up for so long i'm really not that good <laughs> <coughs> so mario sunshine i never really talked about what how i got into it so i was really young my parents got divorced and when i played mario sunshine i played it on the gamecube you know as you should for your first time ever but my stepmom at the time had a GameCube. And I didn't know a GameCube like fully existed. I mean, when I was younger, I went to my cousin's house all the time because my mom, dad, and I, we all went to my uh, cousins, aunts, uncles, whatever the heck they are. And um, we would go there 
and my cousins would have a GameCube. And the only game that I only enjoyed was Mario Kart Double Dash. <clears throat> so I knew I liked the GameCube, so when I saw that he had one, my stepmom had The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, pack thing. Oh god, what? Ah. Okay. That... I don't understand. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey! Hey, guy! I think I need another one. Sorry to waste your time. <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah. So, she had that. And then she had... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so fast. This is faster than the original game! <laughs> what? But uh, she also had Mario Sunshine, and I was like, oh, I love Mario games. I want to play this. So I played it. Um, and this is actually before my parents got divorced thinking about it, because my my mom, dad, stepmom, and stepdad, they were all friends. And then, uh, I think I mentioned the story that they got divorced before, and they, like, swapped. But that's, like, if I didn't mention that, then that's for another video. But, um, yeah, so whenever my mom, dad, and I would go visit my stepmom and stepdad, uh, I would play Mario Sunshine the entire time. And, um... I've always loved Sunshine. And I tried to play whenever I could. And then, I guess, like, after two years of, like, my parents being divorced and everything, my stepsister took the GameCube and took all the games, so I never had Mario Sunshine. And then I always had to play ROM hacks of it. Just, which, 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 which was fine. <laughs> But yeah, Mario Sunshine has always been a really fun game to me. I love Sunshine. I have nothing against Sunshine ever. The only thing I have against Sunshine is uh, all the glitches that they still have yet to fix. Which would definitely indicate a pachinko machine. I hope that is not in this game, but it most likely is. Or, since they made so many life improvements to this game, maybe they worked on pachinko machine. And it's, like, not as buggy anymore. Okay, there is way more bloopers on here than I, than I remember. I don't have, like, a crystal clear memory of this game, but I do know that there is way too many bloopers on here. Also, I, I find it really interesting, like, how many people had different ways of taking to get up here. I only say I find that really interesting because, like, <clears throat> back when I was younger, I found a way to get up here, and I thought, like, that was the only way to get up here without having any falls or fails. Turns out, I found different ways every time, so people ha always had different ways, and I was like, there's no way. <clears throat> because Bud always mentioned using a rocket nozzle, and I was like, I don't really like using a rocket nozzle very much. I guess this is one of those moments we could just jump out. Um, what would be next? The, se the secret one's not open yet. I don't think. <clears throat> so I'm not 100% sure if all of the... Are all of the blue coins in, like, one sitting? Like, do we need to... I don't know if we need to go to different levels to get them. <clears throat> oh, there's a ramp to go back up. You know, thinking about it, I'm also curious now if we don't have to... I wonder if we have to go to Bianco Hills every time. To get, like, to the next level. That'd be interesting. Actually, that'd be kind of cool because like imagine like all the different ways and possibilities of like having to get to different levels <clears throat> I only remember where m some of the base coins are not all of them so that's why I don't feel like I might that's why I don't feel like I'm gonna 100% this game just because of that I know this guy has a blue coin too also I might try to go for 100 coins in every uh Level. I might. Not 100% sure yet. Coins. Oh, 
coin there. <clears throat> there was a time when I played Mario Sunshine that I did find all 100 blue coins. But I had to use a guide. Because in the game, I think it's kind of fun to find all find blue coins because it like gives you more to do. But at the same time, they are also in places that you wouldn't expect. Like you see the X's, the O's, and then you see the M's. And then you get into that routine, you're like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then you see like all the other areas that they could possibly be in, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you could like you could accidentally you could like shoot a door with your blood and it just pops out. Like how would you know that? I don't mind blue blue coin hunts as much, but I don't know. To me they just feel like they could be like more obvious when they made this game. I could be wrong too. Maybe they had like some sort of intention. Because there's just a lot of blue coins that you wouldn't expect to find playing this game. I'm just search. Oh wow, Mario can... can Mario not climb this? Okay, good. Get up there. Ooh, this should be open. It is. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I like some levels where you don't need Flood. Not because, like, Flood's annoying or anything. I just personally thought it would be cool to play some of these levels without Flood. And yeah, you could do the whole thing of, like, well, then don't just use Flood and blah, 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 blah critics. But then I was like, yeah. But it's not the same. It's not, like, challenging yourself because your, your, your right finger, your right index finger is so used to pressing Flood when you need him. And it's just not the same. <laughs> Hate to say it, this is not the same. I didn't think that would work. Why is that actually worked? <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy. So, have have any of you guys ever played Eclipse yet? If so, anyone that's watching this, we're gonna do something here. I'm gonna copy Tyler on this. Sorry, Tyler. I'm gonna copy you on this one. I'm gonna do a comment question for this video. Have you guys played Super Mario Eclipse? If you have, how did you like it? And a follow-up is, if you have not played Eclipse, what other ROM hack have you played of Mario Sunshine? Would you recommend any good old ROM hacks? <clears throat> All right. Where we go, Harba? Actually, I want to explore a little more. Staying one level is cool, but I like the variety that we have right now. So we know not to talk to guy. Talk to the guy on the bench. Whoa, whoa! That's Gelato Beach. This is so cool. What's over here? That's Serena. Okay. This is the coolest thing ever. <clears throat> oh, I just went up back up to Bianco Hills. Okay. <laughs> that's, the, that's the coolest thing ever. I want to go back to that train area. <clears throat> oh, so that's the way too. Oh, that means that blue... Oh, that blue coin is there. Okay. That's so weird seeing that opened up. So there's 30 blue coins in this area. Alright. So hillside hillside cave secret. The easiest way to get there, in my opinion, just because I've been doing it this way for the longest time. Is going over here. And then going up this wall. I wonder if they took out like most of the borders. <clears throat> What I feel. I don't know. People like to use like the wall jump method where they can just like wall jump up here. I never could do that because I always struggled doing it that way for some reason. So this way was just always easier for me. Alright. The easiest secret in the game. 
And knowing my luck, somehow I can still fail at it. Or will I? I would say most likely not. Nice. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, and we will do this last shine before we call it the episode. Did it just get stuck on that music? <laughs> what? I think next episode we'll start with Gelato Beach. Since we know for a fact that we can get there now. I don't know. There's so many possibilities right now. I'm just... I'm too excited. It's like, I can't... I, I, I don't know. There's just so much that I'm waiting for in this game. We've collected a good amount of shines in this one episode, though. I think we collected, what, 11 shines so far? I'd say about 11. Unless I miscounted. Which, if you guys know me, that does tend to happen. Ah! Go away. I don't like you. Why are those wind things even in this game? You never see them again. They're so annoying. What are they called? And like, why are they here to begin with? Nobody likes them. All the blue coins have to be in one area. They have to be. I feel like they really are. And you guys can't tell me otherwise, because I feel like they're all in, like all out in the open now. Nobody likes Pokies. People might like Pokimane, but they don't like Pokies. Nice. I just gotta get up there without being injured. This is my nozzle. The uh, oh, you can't use it yet. What's weird to me is that Flood will point out, Hey, Mario, this is my other thing. Downside is you can't use it yet. Like, oh, okay. I'm glad you decided to say something now, Flood. Cool to know, bro. Nice. Where does that shine go, anyway? Whoopee! <laughs> Whoopee! I love Mario's voice. Have you guys, like, been missing Char Charles Marnay, too? Or am I the only one? I've, I've, like, watched... I've heard some clips of the new voice actor for Mario and Luigi. Luigi sounds pretty identical. But it's the Mario one I can't get behind. I don't know, maybe it's just me, because I'm like, uh, change is stupid, and people who like change are change addicts. I don't know. I don't, I don't disagree with change. I think change can be really good and, like, beneficial. But, I, I don't know. I, why are these guys more relevant? To the creators of Eclipse, they were just like, Oh, well, there wasn't enough, so we wanted to add more. It should make it fun, though. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Like, okay, guys. I feel like this has been more of a blue coin hunt than a shine count. <laughs> but no, I miss Charles. I think he was a really good Mario. But he's also been around most of my childhood. So that would say a lot. But... Yep, I think that's what we're going to call it an episode, guys. Alright, that's going to be for this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the stream. The stream, wow, the video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, also, let me know what ROM hacks you guys have been playing. I've been Trevor Neff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.